Hi, everybody. Welcome to Am I the Asshole <laughs> podcast. Now on a new recording platform. That's right. We're not on Zoom today, people. Screw Zoom. We're on Zencaster. <laughs> Joined today by my lovely co host with the co most, Sarah. How are you? I'm pretty good. I How think- dare you be good? Same. Sorry, I'm not in yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dying. So I don't know. That's pretty good in my book. <laughs> We're joined by two very special guests today, Keith and Hemda. Hemda, actually Hemda and Keith, I would prefer, because Ooh. I think Hemda should go first, because Keith gets to go first on the podcast. They're of their incredible cop podcast, Keith and the Girl. Guys, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having us. It's so funny because right now it is a difficult question to go, how are you? And I feel it's it's always followed by good the, you know, like, <laughs> like not dead. Like we're it's all such not a loaded good. question. <laughs> yeah, like you, you oh. can't, you can't be good. You're jailed in your house, and you can't use the word jailed <laughs> because you sound like a pompous asshole because you have all the internet <laughs> and everything you need still delivered to you. But yeah, I'm good. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, I was talking to somebody today, and they said, "How are you?" And I go, "Naturally, you know, I say good. I, I mean, not too good, not too good. I mean, it's tough. Where do we? I mean, you know, right? <laughs> News." <laughs> yeah, it's like a privilege. I feel guilty telling people when I'm having a good day because I'm like, you know, I'm so lucky. I have my job. I right. found the great Mediterranean place nearby that delivers, Ooh. you know, and it's like contactless. Well, this is this is your life's dream. You're living your best life. It's all the rest of us that have to adjust to your sick, demented brain. I'm team I'm Danny. <laughs> I'm team Danny. Other than people dying, this is great. <laughs> once once I, I finally made birds. peace with today, I have to set up my computer that this life isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, I'm going to be golden. <laughs> I, I did a show. I did a stand up show on, on Zoom and it was weird. And I was telling my girlfriend and she's like, yeah, but how nice is it? You were done. You know, you're done. You were on the show for an hour. You were there. I stayed for the whole show, which normally I wouldn't do. I'm like, I don't give a shit about your comedy. I got an hour ride home. Screw you. Yeah stay the whole time you know she's like this is the future isn't there something good here and then i'm like don't say that we're privileged (laughs) be sad (laughs) that's it definitely get into a fight with the girlfriend because there's nothing else to fight about all goddamn day (laughs) are you fighting the urge to micromanage her her moves like there's there's this thing that couples start doing and i think roommates and families so sarah i don't know if it's happening with your family but you just start going like is that is that how you're going to wash the dishes? Cause I, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm okay. But if you know, whatever you want to, whatever you want to do, it's your house uh, too, obviously, but it's my house too. So <laughs> well, my, my, my girlfriend and I don't live with her, so it's not a thing like that, but it's funny. She's so, she is meticulous when it comes to cleaning. And then I see the way she lays out her garbage cans under the sink. And I'm like, why would you do that though? See, like that. Are you an asshole, Danny, Sarah? <laughs> I don't say it. Well, well, what does your girlfriend do? I don't understand. She lays She's out a janitor. Her She's a janitor. I don't know. It's just, it doesn't make sense recycle-wise. It's kind of stupid. Interesting. No, explain to me what she actually does. She it wasn't that deep. I was just trying to ingratiate myself. It really threw me when you introduced him to first. But I know that's because she talked out of turn, and I get it. It's like saying my better half. Then I'd rather they were the politician. But I I don't know. I fucked up, Danny. I fucked up. It's not that. It's that she does everything perfectly, quite frankly. She does my dishes here and puts bags in the garbage can. Otherwise, I don't have bags. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I lied. Basically, I lied. Keith is, <laughs> Keith, Keith is doing what you say that you're doing. You're not allowed to have a good day, so he has right. to shit on his girlfriend. <laughs> I, 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 if today's our last day and any day could... I don't want to go out as a liar, and I would like to apologize. <laughs> Thank you for apologizing. Oh That's what the show is all about, <laughs> feeling guilt, apologizing, <laughs> things like this. Right. Kind of true. <laughs> Folks, we got one heck of an app for you today. Our third situation of the You're day. You're not sure, AI. though. You're not sure. Like it's really about how everybody plays off each other, right? All right, that's it, Keith. I'm calling you out now. It's gonna be like this. I thought it would be funny to have Keith host the show because he's such a dominant motherfucker, and now he's just gonna interrupt me the whole time. I'm he sorry. said no, people. He said no. I said Keith, host the show. Just run it like you're me, and and act like nothing's going on, and do an ad read for Keith and the girl because Keith is really good at the ad reads. I'll give him that. It's his one talent. 
<laughs> and he goes, oh, he goes, I don't want to do it. He basically said, I don't want to do it. And then he signed the email, love. And I was like, what the fuck is this? You don't love me. You don't love me. I, I care for you more than my dad. So they don't, I don't know the words for that. <laughs> Hi, Bar. <laughs> oh, man. Despite the skeptics, people, we do, in fact, have one heck of an F. A third story, AITA for telling my GF to quit using Lysol wipes to wipe her ass. Are you proud of yourself, Henda, when you figure out the acronyms fast? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was I mean like, it. Girl, girlfriend, next. <laughs> <laughs> AITA for wanting my GoFundMe donation back. <laughs> God. Ah, 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 okay. What was the first sentence again? <laughs> the fuck? Yes, you're the asshole. What was the first sentence? I missed it. Because there are a lot a- of acronyms. No, no, it's just, it's got, it's Keith. It's just A-I-T-A, <laughs> yeah. am I the asshole? You get that? Okay. A-I-T-A yeah, for but I wanting. Heard, but I heard GF. I thought I missed some. No, it, it's A-I-T-A for wanting my GoFundMe yeah. donation back. That's it. What the girlfriend had to do with something. That was the yeah. other one. <laughs> Oh, you're just you're just setting it up. I get so fucking invested. Okay, so the yeah, the second story they're the asshole. I follow. All right, what's the third story? No, no, we do in reverse order because then I go. But first, ATA yeah, yeah. for not taking my girlfriend. Yeah, I know you know. Yeah, ATA for not taking my girlfriend's. A I T A. They can say the way I jump in is perfect. Don't worry. Yeah, everybody here says it, it flows. It flows. Trust me. A I T A. For not taking my girlfriend's side over a sexist tradition oh. at a restaurant. Oh, that's such a good one. I'm so excited. I'm in. I am 26. That's a male of 26 years old. <laughs> of age. That's one after 25. I follow. Four years before 30. <laughs> Is that how you identify? (laughs) Am a second generation French immigrant to the U.S. Okay. (laughs) Well, you must know more. Does that mean you're not making sourdough but making croissants during this time? (laughs) I speak French and most of my family lives in France. I've been dating an, an American girl, F24, for two years now. My girlfriend does not speak French at all. The actual events in question happened this winter. My GF and I went to France. She wanted to eat at a fancy French restaurant, something with Michelin stars. Mm-hmm. We made a reservation for a good restaurant. Not the best, but still good. Okay. We had to make it months in advance. There was also a dress code and things like that. Okay, then that's we the sh- best, by the way. Yeah. What do you? What, <laughs> that what is else? the best. Yeah, did you... Did you want them to cancel it so that you know you're at a super fancy thing and then reschedule it? Yeah, yeah, every sh- fake shits on themselves in these stories. You notice that? I heard this uh, while we were on their show before. It's like, I, I had a nice bottle of wine somebody used as an enema. Not the queen of wines. I didn't get it from <laughs> Sir Wine himself, but it was expensive wine. <laughs> we showed up. And everything was fine at first. They Mm -hmm. took our coats. We sat down. The restaurant was beautiful. By the way, when you when when a when a restaurant insists that they take your coat because it's so uncomfortable to hold on to that, even though that's literally my purse in the summer. Yeah, you're in a (laughs) you're in a fancy restaurant. Right. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying it's the prettiest. It wasn't the Sistine Chapel, but I'm saying it was a beautiful experience. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking asshole. Okay. The waiter then gave us our menu. I had to do all the communication as my GF doesn't speak French. Mm-hmm. I was yeah, showing it. my. I followed. <laughs> and then they had the dick sucking ceremony. Well, she doesn't understand that as a nice white shut French person. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Continue. I was showing I was showing my GF something on my menu and she noticed that mine had prices and hers did not. Mm-hmm. I'd completely forgotten about this tradition because it's just not common in the US. Right. She asked me why mine had the prices that she hers didn't. I explained that it was a tradition in many upscale French restaurants. She called it sexist and said it was ridiculous. I told her that's just the way it is in these kinds of places. And we shouldn't have come here if she was upset by this. I asked she to wanted- pay half. Am I the asshole? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she wanted me to ask for a menu with prices for her. I refused because we already had the prices yeah, yeah. and I didn't want to make a scene. She demanded that I confront a waiter about it or she would walk out. I called her bluff and she ended up staying but didn't talk to me for the whole meal. Oh, which that's was great. delicious. Which is worth it. Which is worth $250. Yeah. And it was good. It was delicious. Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> We've been back home for several months, but she keeps bringing it up. I'm honestly considering ending the relationship over this because she will not stop talking talking about it she keeps accusing me of being sexist i'm not and has been making ridiculous comparisons oh my god break up bye Um, goodbye so sorry that someone else was sexist and now i'm fucking paying for it for the rest of my life yes of course it's sexist yes why don't you go to saudi arabia and then go to a fucking restaurant and tell them how sexist they are too (laughs) even though you opted in and realized that a tradition is happening without your consent leave don't stay there did he pay for the meal was that sexist of you did you leave right. that part out? No. Well, he left it out, so I don't know about that. So. I think right. I cut it, but he did pay for the. He was paying for the meal the whole time. Sure. And you know what? I've gotten that menu with the prices and somehow realized, because we were comparing meals, that the woman didn't have the price. I wanted her to see the price. <laughs> see it. Like, let's switch menus. It's the easiest thing. <laughs> Wait, now, you've actually seen this in America? Or I've been there. France? Yeah, in America. In America. Really? Oh, I've never seen this. I mean, it's not the best place. <laughs> Where'd you go? Uh, I don't That's know. There's just somewhere nice, you know, small. They focus on certain things. And I had the price and I realized she didn't. And I'm like, oh, I see. Okay. I, I, I do think that's a, a nice option to have, but it would be nice if they if they asked who's going to pay because I I don't exclusively let someone else pay for me just because we're dating. But – it also um, depends how the date goes. I'm like, hmm, we're going to figure it out if we're Dutch. <laughs> Let's actually trade menus. You right. lost. Sorry. I'm sorry. This is yours. <laughs> but Adam, this is what I'm talking about with like now that everyone's squished together in Corona, it's accelerating the bullshit, right? So it, so someone else was sexist. Absolutely. You didn't – You decided to not start a parade about it right there in the restaurant because you don't think that's the way to respond to it, even though you agree that it's wrong and sexist, then what are we doing here? You still sat there through the dinner and now you're going to be holier than everybody else and keep bringing it up. Like, what's the point? You have a perfect relationship and are bored. Like what's happening? Yes, it's sexist. Yes, he admits it, but he didn't make up the rules. And by the way, you didn't even for a second consider that he arranged it that way, that you don't have to see the numbers. You just got pissed. You're already pissed. You're already mad. And don't get me wrong. I'm a woman. I've gotten treated that way in a restaurant. Keith and I go to dinner every year just for our show. And and we usually go to a nice steakhouse where they are sexist. Even in the U.S., they give him the check and he hands it to me across the table, even though we both have the same credit card that links to the same account. In front of of them, I go, no. Yeah. <laughs> I go, you got the Caesar salad. <laughs> you wanted the buffalo tomatoes. Yes, but if I wanted Keith to be like, you know, stand up for me right now, like, no, we're right. just never going to come here again and whatever. But 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 that doesn't offend you when that happens. Of course it When you offend- go to the steak place and the old Russian, by the way, why are they always Russian? They're always old Russians at these steak places. Uh, he gives yes. you... <laughs> Yet to the that- show. <laughs> Sorry, I got fucking riled up. <laughs> Does that bother you, Hemda? Uh, yeah, it's sexist. Yeah, you're assuming um, d- there hasn't been a relationship where somebody is paying for my everything. That's what my parents' relationship was like. Um, no, I don't get equal pay, but I have. The, the, it's it's sexist. It's sexist. So yeah, of course it's offensive. But um, I don't fight every fight all day on the street because you get sexist at all day. And when right, you know because- your lover is on your side, how isn't that the fucking end of it? You keep bringing it up, then this guy's a horrible communicator. I don't know. He sounds verbose because the first half of the story, quite frankly, I was trying to adjust my headphones better and I missed it. But guess what? I didn't miss any of the fucking story. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking guy. What I do you think guys you think? You have to assume they talk to each other at home. And if that's not – if nothing's getting done, then she's out of line. Enough. I think – so the, there's a couple different factors here. So I think he is wrong. I think OP is wrong about mm-hmm. – I didn't want to tell the waiter. Uh, <laughs> only the best guest today. Who did that? Sarah, was that you? I don't know. What is that no. noise? 
I, uh, I thought I heard a text message. I don't know if no, that's the problem my phone's hearing on airplane mode. I think yeah. I'm to try to sneak a text. I, I did try to sneak a text because I need the cord for my laptop. And I'm like, wow, you're talking shit about us. <laughs> oh, hold on. I got to I got to go outside and bring him to the cord. <laughs> it's a man's job. It's a man's job. <laughs> so so I guess where I was going with this is he, so in the actual situation, I agree with you guys about everything. I mean, she is catastrophizing this. This argument should be over. It's, right. it's already done. But in the situation, I think that he was being a little too shy because I think if he had asked away, like, oh, hey, can we just get a menu with a price? She just wants to see it. I think they'd be like, yes, of course. Yeah. Mm. Because that's how these places are. They're accommodating. Right. Even though even though it's sexist, it's, it's very classy and it's it's well done. They're, they say no. <laughs> we have certain no. rules. No and no cell phones. And we only push in <laughs> women's chairs. Actually, that's a good point, Danny. But yeah, that's a really good point because all I'm asking for is, hey, can you even this out by just asking the waiter this? But that means to me that she thinks she's dating someone else and she should break up with him. He is not a person that has the necessity to be confrontational in that way. And maybe you think that's a pussy. So then that's what you think is happening. Right, right. Sarah, where are you at in all this? I wouldn't have asked for the menu either. Like, honestly, Parisian people are fucking annoying. And, like, they would have probably been like, he'd be like, can I please have the menu? And they'd be like, what? And he'd be like, the one with the prices. And they'd be like, uh, okay. Like, they would have given him some attitude about it. And just, no, I wouldn't have wanted to deal with it either. Yes, but if I was on if I was on a date with you, I'd be like I would take that stupid you know waiter that you're making up and making up his response. I'll take that <laughs> response. I'll take that response from him because it doesn't bother me. But I don't mind confrontation. Also, yeah, if he's taking you like, out, no, it's if not it's understood, it the one person's taking the other person out. I'd rather not see the prices. Yeah. Right, they're in a well, right. They're That's in true. a relationship of two years. Like he was taking her out. I would rather not see the prices because then I can just order guilt free. <laughs> yes. Right. And that's what he wants, right? If you're paying, don't you want the other person to do guilt free unless you're Keith on a first date? Dump her. <laughs> Let her go. Bye bye. Bye bye. What do you think her name is? Sorry, Danny. What do you think her name is? <laughs> It'll help me. <laughs> this is like a Lauren. I feel. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye, Lauren. Bye bye. I feel it in my soul. Bye bye. Amanda, Amanda G writes, yes. ESH, everyone sucks here. I wow. see her point, but in a public restaurant to a waiter, much less, is not the appropriate venue to voice one's complaint. So I, I see this. Like mm. if he had went to the waiter like this is sexist, or she had said that, it would have been I would have been like, Look, this is our culture, this is how we do shit in France. We're a shitty country, everyone knows that. Why'd you come here? <laughs> yeah. You know? I, I don't hate the verdict but her point actually makes like literally no sense like if bringing it up to the waiter would not have been the appropriate venue then where would you bring it up well i think it's a culture it's a broad cultural thing this is a cultural tradition so it's like it's not the waiter being sexist the waiter could be a pig but he's just going with the flow here but he wouldn't have gone to the waiter to be like this is sexist. How dare you? Like he would have just been like, Hey, can we have the other menu? I kind of feel like that's what she wanted though. She, she wanted, wanted him to like show. rail against institutional sexism to exactly. the writer. Yeah. Right. Both. Then but here's the no. thing. Call it home. But they're, call it home. Both the guy, their, sorry. Both their wants are equal. She wants him to do it. He doesn't want to do it. Why is she right? He, right. he why then why can't she say can I have the other menu if it's not rah rahing against the anti sexist? Why does he right. need to step up? Isn't that sexist? So I it's think actually you're right. Just, I think oh, I think no, you're it's I think because you're she doesn't mm-hmm. speak French. However, these people probably speak some English. Who doesn't speak a little bit of French? Come on, parlez vous Francais. Also, you know. okay, so then if you don't speak French, then let him speak French and let him say what he wants. He's he's an adult human that you're emasculating, even though I don't believe in that word because I believe women can be emasculated also. You're, but you're, you made him a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're, call, you're making him the bitch you think he is. So just right. break up with the bitch. I don't know. Just, why is this turning you off so hard? Because you're sexist. Because a man who doesn't stand up for you is a bitch. So now, you're a bitch, too. 
I think you made me really not like her. I think you're really spot on. She's she has like a crazy double standard here. Let me tell you a little bit about a little bit about Keith overseas. Okay, we took a little trip to Israel years ago. All right, talk about culture shock. Keith, as much as he interrupts you and is a fucking son of a bitch on everything that we do, he's (laughs) a very polite kind of a meek human being in public it's very <laughs> odd yeah and i'll give you this example israelis are known for being very aggressive very loud very pushy um and we sort of pride ourselves on that so we're in israel keith is like fully american in every single way and he goes we're waiting for the bus to go to jerusalem and he goes all right i'm gonna get a falafel or a shawarma while we're waiting and me and my brothers were there i'm were sorry like, one second it was a crepe it was a crepe. Oh, you got a crepe in Israel? YTA. Oh, my God. YTA. <laughs> I, I, guess what? Uh, the peas aren't different in Israel. <laughs> uh, can I get some chickpeas? Get the fuck out. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, me and my brothers are like, look, we know who you are. You're a very polite, polite nice young man. And it, it's not going to fly here, especially at the bus station. There's way too much hustle and bustle. And he's like, I think I can get a crepe on my own, okay? Okay. <laughs> Good luck, Keith. And no one was surprised when he came back with no crepe, with no food, with no nothing. And he said, he said, this is insane. No one was paying attention to me. I was standing in line and I go, what line? And he goes, there wasn't even a line. I'm like, I know. And he's like, people were cutting in front of me and yelling at the thing. And I didn't get a chance to order. And I'm like, let us come with you. We're going to yell at them in the way that we know how to yell at them. And you get your order. And he's like, no, because if they can't hear me the way I am, then I don't even want their food. And I'm like, all right, starve to death. I don't give a shit. It's a crepe. <laughs> but he can't, you know, it. it he, it, you don't, slide right into a new culture just because you're there and you see how it works. I didn't exactly. explain politeness to them. I didn't explain just because you want a napkin, you don't jump in and crawl, literally jump over the counter and grab it. Right. Like, but I, I'm, like, I, I, I'm also not going to play along. And so I didn't get my crepe. I couldn't come <laughs> to the counter with him and be like, excuse me, uh, he was standing here and I think you're ignoring him. Right. And uh, <laughs> it would be very, I mean, he has money. Show them your money. You're American. They love you everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, excellent. I like that story because it's also, <clears throat> you know, Keith sucks, but he is deferent to this culture. He's not going to be big. He's not going to be boisterous. And like, it's also just delusional because the way she's acting is almost like if we raise a fucking huge stink about this, then the French aren't going to be sexist. And it's right. like, no, you're not going to fix right. the culture with your complaints. Yeah, they're just going to talk shit about you later after you leave. They're going to be like, can you get a load of this crazy American bitch? To be expected, you know, and you're just kind of falling into that. I'm not saying don't ever stand up for yourself, but no one cares about you in that restaurant. Pay your bill and get out and say thank you. I think we all agree, AITA, for not taking my girlfriend's side over a sexist tradition at a restaurant, not the asshole, and she is. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 This my oh, wow. I found the raider not to be the asshole. First time. Wow. Ta-da-da-da! There is a, a first special time moment. for everything. Are you wearing a Curious George t-shirt? Uh, kind of. It happens oh, to be cute. the MailChimp logo, but it's definitely curious. <laughs> <laughs> they just uh, them it's off. so much less funny. <laughs> MailChimp. All right. AITA for wanting my GoFundMe donation back. Okay. I don't, uh-huh. I, I'm keeping an open mind, but oh my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, even No matter a- who you found it, go, where could it be going to? Where the fuck could this? I don't know. I don't either. Where do you think? Is it going to <laughs> ISIS? <laughs> Where did your money go? Did it go to Chick Fil A? Was going. Did it go to Chick Fil A? And they're still having anti-therapy gay camps. All right, I'm ready, Danny. Keith, uh, what Keith, going while, while I read this, Keith, I want you to pretend I'm going to try at an Israeli crepe stand. That's all I'm asking. Here we okay. go. All right, all right. A family member of Can mine. I- <laughs> Sir, no. A family member of mine is struggling with infertility. I'm very close with her and her husband, and I wanted some. Sir, we don't serve your kind, sir. You're too shiny. And I, that's a bald joke, by the way. I wanted so badly for them to have their dream of becoming parents. Excuse me. They start. Stop it. (laughs) When they started a GoFundMe to pay for in vitro fertilization, I donated $500. 
And through the GoFundMe, which they actually wrote as GFM, they raised an admirable greater than three grand. Unfortunately, for those who are familiar, three grand is nowhere near the 10 grand they need. Mm. Since then, she's told me that she's going to accept God's plan and that they aren't going to have kids. She isn't looking into adoption because she really just wanted her kid. I expressed my sympathy and asked what she was going to do with the GoFundMe money. She said that she isn't intending to return the money because if she had gotten 10K, she would have done in vitro. To another family member, I expressed that this didn't sit well with me and they freaked out calling me insensitive. Am I wrong here? No. No, there was no clause in the GoFundMe that if she didn't reach her goal that the dollars would be refunded that I'm aware of. Uh, it doesn't matter. We got two in a fucking row. The people are saints. Of course not. Take your money back. Don't bother talking to her. Call the credit card company. Bye, bitch. Oh, my God. Next. Uh, okay. So uh, I think Keith is right. However. Thank um, you. However, um, adoption costs a lot of money. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm giving her money to try to start a new family. Um, so her changing her plans, like – to me is like, oh, you were going to have this surgery, but you're having another surgery, but it's both plastic surgery. You know, it's yeah, both- I, if this was a random person, I would say take your money back. But if you were cool with giving your family member $500 for one purpose and you want it back just because they're going to put it towards a slightly different purchase, I think that's incredibly petty. Like this um, is a donation. It's not really like a strings attached thing anymore. I feel like. I'm it's, sorry. It's also, not a, it's also not a Kickstarter, and a Kickstarter will give you your money back if you don't hit the $10,000. Here it doesn't. I don't think he's an asshole for asking for it back. I do think that she's an asshole if she's not going to give it back because it's too bad. Like, it's, okay. it's petty to ask for it back because you did have $500 allotted to this gift-giving process. It's like if you went to a wedding and they got annulled 10 days later, yes, you should get your gift back, but also just there's enough stuff going on. You, that's what you decided to buy this couple. I feel like when you give like your friends and family money, like you just have to kind of accept that you're probably not going to get it back. Yeah. I I missed the part where it was family. Yeah. You're not getting it back, but you're not the asshole. (laughs) That's the end of it. You're not getting it back. Yeah. (laughs) I missed the family part. I, I I just assumed it was, you know. It did. I, it almost doesn't matter because when you give to a GoFundMe, you're giving because you feel that for that person is in need. And that's the closeness that you feel between you is you feel $500 responsible for that need because that's what you can afford. Right. I mean, it's really a large donation to the cause. I mean, this person gave like one sixth of the total money. Like they really put it in. Yeah, but it's and large then, considering what you have in your bank account. It's not necessarily large considering what he does. He decided on 500. You can't decide what's large. and You can't decide. Um, I think $500 is a good amount of money, though. Like really no matter who you are. Right? I mean, it's a fair chunk of change. Some people make $500 you know? every hour. Oh, okay, Hamda. I mean, some, sure. The neurosurgeons among us. Keith, a neurosurgeon is a brain surgeon. So um, I hate when you I, do that. You know, no, stop. <laughs> I hate when you do that. And you know it. You I'm sorry. Knew, I'm sorry. You knew it. Yeah, I know but, you're Googling it. I know you're Googling it. <laughs> but he knows so, I like it, so he gives it to me. <laughs> All right. I guess what I feel is that this was – okay, I guess I just don't want to go as far as you. It's like, I don't know, if, if you give a family member a gift, it is kind of an asshole move to ask for it back. I feel like in this situation because she is doing none of what she said she would do so that the in vitro right. didn't come through. She's doing nothing to have a kid. She's not she's even adopting. getting a fucking dog. She's what adopting. do you mean? She's adopting. Which she's adopting? I thought she said she wasn't adopting. Hey, Danny, I didn't read it either. You know what I mean? She isn't looking into adoption because oh. she really just wanted her kid. Oh. I read that shit. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I, I uh, thought I you said, said it also. I thought you said she's looking into adoption. That does no. change it. She's not adopting. So she completely said, F it. I'm not doing a kid. Fuck the kid. But I'm keeping the three grand. How, what kind of person does that? Oh, that's I fucked mean, up. That's definitely tacky. 
tacky. Yeah. It's asshole ish. You took your <laughs> you took your family and friends money for your baby fund and then you're just going to keep it even though you're not having a baby for any reason. Yeah. And also to just dismiss it like, what do you want from me? It's like, mm, well, you wanted something from us and then we get your stupid baby. Uh, now we're not getting the baby. It should be a normal thing that they would realize that like, okay, I have to give this money back. I mean, I've done this. I've had a GoFundMe and we've been like, hey, this, you know, we're not going to do this. So let's give them, you know, just keep the money. What are you crazy? You know what I think? She spent it already. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because with dildos. What? <laughs> <laughs> to super not have a kid. <laughs> uh, she probably spent it because with GoFundMe, uh, you get the money uh, like a day or two after it comes in. So it trickles in as people give God it. Damn it. Whereas yeah. in Kickstarter, unless you reach the right. goal, you don't see any of it. So GoFundMe is just an account. You can just start pulling from mm-hmm. right away. That's crazy. I got to say this, this, this would, this would make me feel really sick about this person. Like, uh, they don't really care about me. I'm not going to care about them on this level in the future. Absolutely. I'm never I'm never donating to them again. That's no. for sure. Alejandra A writes NTA. She's the asshole. The money is not being used for its purposes and she could be prosecuted for accepting donation money under false pretenses. Do you think she know. actually can? Yes. I don't know exactly how true that is, but there was that guy who uh, there was a guy who was homeless and this family put up a GoFundMe for him. And oh, he got I remember money. that. I think it was some New Jersey couple. Probably. And then they they spent all the money. They didn't give any to the homeless money. They gave like right. him. They gave him a small percentage, you know. Oh, I remember that. But they had also so, like made up this whole fake story about how he gave them his last twenty dollars so they could buy gas. Right. And then they were like, and but they had met him before. It turns out like they had this whole thing prearranged. That was a crazy story. Scumbags. Well, that's a full. That's a full on. Robbery. It was like, an, like a, yeah, that was like a whole fraud situation. Like it was a con. This is like um, someone being like kind of tack, like tacky. So like, it do I actually gross. think a DA would bother with this? Like, no. no it's not enough money. <laughs> like, uh, but yeah, I, uh, people on Reddit love to be like, <laughs> you should sue her. This person can get prosecuted. And it's like, you could sue them. But like the odds of it going anywhere, I feel like are probably low. Well, we have sued Shoot. someone over five hundred dollars, Keith and I, and uh, have you? Yep, mm-hmm. and it cost about a hundred or one hundred twenty-five dollars to even file. We came with, you know, uh, printed emails and like whatever proof we needed. Um, he was found guilty. He didn't even show up. He was found guilty. He now owes us five hundred dollars. Guess what we got? Nothing, because nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> so but, we, but we got pride. Yeah, we sure. also what? got. Uh, it's, it's, uh, what do you call it when you tack on the tax, uh, interest. So Ooh. it's still building. Oh, well, yeah. We don't even, all Ooh. this, how long ago was that? Kanda? It's been building. We could be up to $505. <laughs> it's building every year. More and more and more. It, that's my 401k. I think the real lesson <laughs> is if you lose in small claims court, like, don't worry about it. Right. Right. Kind wow. Yeah. I don't well, you should come at him now because if he got his stimulus check, then hey, there's five hundred dollars ah, there for you. Now. Oh, so sorry. this is pretty crazy. You ready for this? I am. Update. Yeah. Update on the post. Oh, cool. I nicely asked from OP, I nicely asked what she was going to do with the money. I didn't want to insinuate that I thought she'd already spent it. She said that it all went to medical bills from things that led up to her being infertile. Honestly, Ooh. I'm okay with that. Okay. Y- yeah. Yeah, I just, you know, I don't like this person who did the GoFundMe. I don't feel like I want to be her friend. Uh, yeah, you obviously did. They obviously didn't keep the family member in the loop. Keep yes, me in the fucking loop. Got- I'm your family member. Done. Mm-hmm. Never mind. I gave you $500. Amen. Why wouldn't you before I knew it was a family member? But anyway, end of the day, it's a family member. Tell me, hey, thanks. I went to the, thank you for things you didn't use the money for. That's asshole. true. That's true. Uh, an, an update, even even Kickstarter, where you have to reach your goal, you have to update people constantly and let them right. know. So, yeah, she's she's just going, you know, you guys have the money to give me so I can just use it for right. whatever I want. You have to understand it because I have medical conditions where a, nice, yeah. a nice email that said, like, hey, guys, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, I'm 
I'm going to put this towards this new thing that it still has to do somehow, whatever it is, but let me know if that's an issue and I'd be happy to refund your money. You got to leave that. Even if you're not happy to refund my money, just write that you're happy to refund my money and also write, sorry for any inconvenience because you have to. She's an asshole. Right. Yeah. Great AA. That means great A asshole. I like it. (laughs) Yeah. AITA for wanting my GoFundMe donation back. It was quite a roller coaster, but I think we all agree. <laughs> yes. Not the asshole, right. and the other person is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't even the the other person didn't even say, uh, "Hey, thanks, you helped me out." Mm-hmm. Obviously, right. there's no communication. Yeah. You shouldn't have to chase people, whether it's a GoFundMe or debt, whatever. I have a friend who owes me money or whatever. I'm like, look, I don't give a shit. I, I assume I'm not going to get the money back. But like, don't disrespect me. If you say you're going to pay it back by a certain day, just right. talk to me that day. And be yeah. like, look, I ain't got the money. I, you know, I bought a crack or whatever. Yeah. Just let I- me know. Right. Let me know that you know. Yeah. I'll, exactly. I'll just quickly break your legs. But, you know, you'll get back to work. Yeah. Time. <laughs> They'll heal. They'll heal. Mm-hmm. A-I-T-A, for telling my GF to quit using Lysol wipes to wipe her ass. Oh! (laughs) Ow! No, unless she's the actual coronavirus. (laughs) No. She's patient zero. (laughs) She's a fucking virus. Unless she's a big red thing with spikes. (laughs) No. What the fuck? No. Holy fuck, we had three not the assholes? Go ahead. And then I punched her. I mean, where could it go? For the record, you would think that Keith is just taking this side because he's a disgusting pig. He's actually not. After every shit, he takes a shower. Okay? Whether whether oh my God. whether we're in the studio or he's at home or it's possible that he'll do it at your house if you if he's comfortable enough. But he's not like he's not opposed to cleanly butts. Just to I love showering after a shit. I mean you get really clean. Yeah. It's just a lot better. What about of course. investing in a bidet? I don't I don't like that French shit. They're sexist. <laughs> Again. Right. Like, <laughs> right. I don't I, I want to know how much my toilet is, but my girlfriend can't know. <laughs> <laughs> After washing my face, I threw my cotton pads in the garbage and a brown stained cloth oh. caught my eye. It looked like it was stashed underneath all the other trash, and I think it was purposefully hidden. Yeah, it leave it. Running- well, first of all, I congratulate him on cleaning his face with cotton balls. Very cleansing and smart. Not many people take the time. After dabbing my face with my third finger, as per <laughs> goop.com, I then noticed in the trash, okay, highfalutin. Sir, right. this is a crepe stand. Please right. get your... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> We've been running out of Lysol wipes. We have the antimicrobial kind really quickly, but I chalked that up to us obsessively wiping all the surfaces, so I didn't think much of it till now. Upon further expe- inspection with gloves and while holding my breath, there was a big pile of the same brown stained porous cloth that uh, just looked like Lysol wipes. What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Why are you putting gloves on? Just ask her. There's only one like, other person throwing things out in your bathroom. You got to yeah. fucking inspect it. What do you think she's hiding? Why are you looking through my shit? Literally. Ew. You're gr- I don't what know. the fuck? That- do you know what? Just read my diary and fuck off. What the fuck I is this? Like gonna, if you're going to come at someone with an accusation like this, I would see why you'd want to gather proof just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> no. hey you didn't like look at it and see something else <laughs> i knew this might be a difficult topic to broach so i tried to do it gently i casually asked if she's noticed our wipes seem to be running out fast oh, uh, weirdo. okay weirdo now i'm just, now I'm just a flat-out fucking weirdo and tried to get the truth by being a weirdo <laughs> you know what that's like that's like um i don't know if your generation does it but 40 year old and up uh, women have been taught to tell their men, I had this dream where you cheated on me, but really what I did was search through your text and I already know. <laughs> that's a good tip. <laughs> As if that's going to be like, oh, you broke me. In fact, that's how it works in interrogation. The cop goes, I had a dream. And then you have to admit it now. So far though, I am thinking like, what would I do if I saw you were using Lysol wipes even oh. if you're using regular, like my girlfriend, I left a deuce in the toilet and she happened to found it. And quite frankly, I'd rather she caught me fucking another woman. <laughs> uh, 
I, you know, I said I think I think the landlord came in to fix a light bulb or something. <laughs> <laughs> but you see a, a brown wipe? It's a lot, man. That's a lot to take in. You, you, okay. If if you had to do it for whatever reason, I couldn't picture the reason. You put it in a separate bag and you throw it outside. No, that's uh, well. Why yeah. aren't you? Well, okay. First of all, okay. you burn it. <laughs> you ha- you buy a fireplace online. <laughs> Is, you wait, kill wait. yourself. You kill yourself. <laughs> Is this woman dead? You kill yourself. Okay, what happened? What happened? <laughs> I then asked if she's been using them for anything frivolous, and she started to get defensive. Yeah, because no. you're calling her frivolous. <laughs> Just ask a question, out. you fucking did, weirdo. <laughs> hey, did you do anything dumb with the wipes? <laughs> I'm just checking. <laughs> I've done he's, dumb things. <laughs> he's like, hey, are you using the wipes, the wipes for unsanctioned territory? <laughs> I cut right to the chase and said that I found some Lysol wipes in the bathroom bin and asked if she's been using them to wipe. She looked liar, away. liar. <laughs> <laughs> she looked away and admitted to it. When I press further, her reasoning is that it gets a job done better than regular TP because uh-huh. she has to keep ah! wiping and wiping and wiping. Ah! But with the wipes, she's only got to wipe a few times before everything's okay. Oh, God. Okay. See, my this butt is, hurts. Dude, but this, this. this is what you get. This is ridiculous. What do you think she was going to say? A fool, she's going to say, I think this is cleaner. Mind your own business. This is my fucking ass that I'm wiping. But I use wipes. Not Lysol because that's for non heartbeat. Body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <That's not> heartbeat. <laughs> you know, like there's a surface here that doesn't match what it says on the box. And I, I like to take a little bit into consideration about what they write on there. Right. But good I, for I, the sink, good for the kitchen, good for the asshole. There's pictures. Yours doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say everything but the kitchen sink. It says literally <laughs> the kitchen sink. I use wipes, but <laughs> there are adult wipes that you can actually flush. You can flush the evidence, like what shit is supposed to do down the toilet. This is, I don't know, are they in America? Do they have things? But, but uh, yeah. You Maybe can, she never knew about wipes. Maybe she never knew about wipes, and this is the first time she tried to wipe. Look. Did, did she I'm learn not, about Google? What the fuck? I'm not the smartest tool in the shed, but there's no way that those things are good for your nether regions. No way. I said, why don't we just get baby wipes slash flushable wipes? She says that's pointless because the Lysol wipes can be dual purpose, which saves money. No. No, no, that's not what the- just an idiot. That's stupid. Dual purpose doesn't mean she's going to use one side of her ass. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) And then wipe the table to disinfect. That's dual purpose. This no, is just wasting Lysol wipes. Right. Ah. If he loves her, if he loves her, then you buy baby wipes and you put them on the fucking toilet. But but, but why do you think that you can write dual purpose on a on a thing that you bought? Like it's not dual dual purpose doesn't mean that you just it's not dual purpose. No, like <laughs> there's there's purposes. You can't add purpose. You can't have a purpose. <laughs> I, I like not the intended purpose. <laughs> we're able to see Henda so we can see her looking around the room like, what's an example of dual right, purpose? Right. Uh, a hanger. Okay, you could use it for an abortion, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Everything had dual purpose. I'm like, oh, my boyfriend's shirt. Yeah, I could wash, wash the sink with it, but it's not dual purpose. Right. right. I proposed investing in a bidet and she said that's pointless and we may not even be able to do that because we're renting an IDK if our landlady would be able to allow us to. That's but you not- can buy like a $20 thing you screw on also. Yeah, my but brother I did it. just can't get over it. I told her that she should stop it because we need it for other things and she said I should stop being so controlling and leave her alone because she's doing nothing wrong. I just oh. can't let it go. This is so bizarre. Surely I'm not the only one who feels this way. Okay, she doesn't but, know about baby wipes. But when That's when when he girl. says when he says How stop it people, I'm dying to know. They're I'm five. Love an eight. They're five. That's the weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> right? He is, he's a great command of grammar for a five-year-old. I'm impressed. Excuse me, am I the asshole? Because I, see, I, I just feel like the Lysol that I'm using, that stuff is for asshole stuff. But my mommy says that it's not dual purpose, and I just feel like that's wrong. We need it for other things. My dad uses it, and he's an asshole. So I figured. 
Well, I just feel like him him saying that we could use it for other stuff is not exactly what I want to hear. But also her completely shutting her ears to here are two other things that you can do that are going to be more healthy for your body and also allow right. us to use these in the proper way. And she's going, yeah, that sounds pointless. And it's like, no, this is exactly to your point. Yeah. That is, <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't so, really seem to stress like it's not just like that we need it for other better things. Yeah. It's like what you just said. It's like, this is going to destroy your anus mm-hmm. lady. You understand that? <laughs> right. But also fall she, out of your body, but also she, she hid it and he's confronting her. So she's nervous. She's embarrassed. She, she, she's true. like, have you happened to perchance notice the weight <laughs> of the box of he's being a fucking weirdo? So you're not going to get the truth that time right then. Just buy baby wipes. Well, he's putting her in a defensive place, too, by saying, are yeah. you using this frivolously? Excuse right. me? Am I using the tissues frivolously? Is this what we're going to fucking fight about? Or are we going to fight about how I'm ripping my epidermis? <laughs> Honey, I drank all the bleach. Well, how are we gonna clean? That's it. I once saw. Do you, do you guys remember that Gypsy show where um, uh, they they show how they get married and it's very lavish, yes. but they're poor in general. There was a, a woman on there who obviously had OCD, so she was like really excited about her lifestyle of being a housemaker or a trailer maker, and like keeping everything clean and being very proud of it. She, she loved it. She loved the whole like cleaning aspect of it, but she's so misguided. She uses bleach on everything. And then she uses bleach on her toothbrush in order to keep her teeth white. (gasps) No. Yes. Because dual purpose. Oh God. God. Is she still alive? I need to know. Right. We knew a woman and this woman isn't alive anymore that would brush her vagina with toothbrush and paste. Huh? What? To keep it fresh. What? Yeah. This she died like from different inside? things. In her, de- well. in her defense. Uh, okay. In her defense. She heard she- it was called a vertical <laughs> smile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, in her defense, she died of heroin and it was before Google. Right. All right, right. That's a lot. Whoa. That's a lot to respond to. Whoa. I can't Whoa. handle that. Um, Yikes. Kevin H writes, NTA, this is uncouth. It's like using dish soap on your hair. This is way worse than that. Yeah. Agreed. But yeah. whatever. It's a decent analogy. Right. If you had a hole in your head. <laughs> Top, the top Reddit comment, NTA, those are not meant for use on your body. And pretty damn sure the packaging says so. She's going to get one hell of a nasty yeast infection and an inflamed coochie slash booty hole. But that's Ooh, not no something for that. I'm afraid. <laughs> that's not something. Which, by the way, go if you shower after you shit, you don't get a lot of inflamed booty holes. I think it's the most mild way to go. When you're doing the toilet paper over and over, you know that shit's chafing. Yeah. Yep. Yes, but there are preparation H wipes. So that's Mm -hmm. dual purpose. There we go. Well, I think we agree on this one. Um, AITA for telling my girlfriend to quit using Lysol wipes to wipe her ass. Yeah, he's an asshole for different reasons. She's actually wrong, but he he is an asshole. That's really – and also, again – In the situation? Why? Because he's – because he's writing it, so he's putting him his best foot forward. He can't help it. He's trying to make himself look good. And uh, it was like, honey, the weight of the box. And it's like, well, then the whole thing was brought up weird. You're a fucking weirdo. You shouldn't be together. And she's fucking your friend anyway. But yes, she is completely <laughs> wrong using it. And you do have to tell her. So yes, in general, that I suppose he is not the asshole. I am not. You're kind of making me think it's not. It might be an everyone sucks here, but she didn't do anything to anyone. What did she really do wrong? She hurt herself. She's actually all like defensive and calling him controlling mm-hmm. because he yeah. doesn't want her to waste Lysol wipes and also hurt herself in the process. I think does this end after quarantine? Because my bathroom smells like your asshole. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ew. <laughs> I was just imagining like this is technically like self-harm, like self-abuse. And mm-hmm. I could just see like some goth kid like, yeah, I've been self-harm. And you're like, what are you cutting yourself? No, nah, I use Lysol wipes on my ass. You guys ever do the Lysol ass challenge? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I mean, I'm stuck in Corona. That's not dual purpose. Ugh. One time right. in college, I, like, cut my leg open, and I 
needed stitches, but I didn't know that at the time. And I was, my friends like helped me clean it up. And my one friend literally grabbed Clorox and he was like, can we use this? And I was like, no, oh my my Clorox into my open wound. So yeah. What are your parents teaching you people? I don't well, know. He asked. He asked. People what? are just like it cleans, so therefore, right? It's it's just it like hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. yeah, hydrogen peroxide's great. It is Actually, great. I got a hydrogen peroxide story that haunts me. So I <laughs> I will gargle hydrogen peroxide. It is really good. I put it on all my wounds. I fucking love the stuff. Anyway, I I, I started googling though. I was like, can you do this? Because I was like, you know what I take it for? Sore throat. It'll kill all the bacteria in your throat. It's a little dicey. You don't want to swallow it. But if you're using the 3% solution, you're good to go. It's yeah. mo- it's mainly sold that way. You gargle. You just gargle it, no water, anything. I dilute it with water. I dilute mm-hmm. it That's a lot. important. All right. Gargle it. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Okay, no, 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 Keith. Do it straight up. Use a 30%. Just take so a shot also, of it. <laughs> it's also sold for whatever reason as a 30% concentration. And there's a story I found on Reddit when I was Googling if it's safe to gargle. And this guy went into his friend's uh, refrigerator and was thirsty. He thought it was water because oh, it was in a water oh, bottle. Uh, he chugged it. You know how you hit a water bottle when you're fucking thirsty? Just, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's, it's already down his throat. And he's like, what is this? And he got to the hospital in time and they just had to pump his stomach because it's it's rocket fuel. Like it'll just, it's poison if you drink that much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what 30% of what is, but uh, yeah. Why that's did not his roommate keep 30%. that in the fridge in a water bottle? That's just sabotage. You, you're it telling is. me it you're was telling a me, plot gone wrong. You're telling me that you have right. roommates and you don't label something that looks like water. Sheesh. That's that's sick. I mean, I'm gonna eat your ice cream. I'm not gonna drink your water. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I put a hydrocodone bottle in my medicine cabinet, but it's really stool softener. I think this guy did it. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. Attempted murder is what this is. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna haunt me. I feel like a man in college is that dumb. I would do something like that. Be like, what? I mean, it's mine. Why would you drink it? Better. Yeah, definitely let men rule the world. Continue. <laughs> but then just put the bottle in there. Why are you making it a water bottle? Right, right. Just leave it in its container. You what think. am I going to get a special container? This is dual purpose. <laughs> he, goes, he, he goes, I know when I go in the fridge, I go one, two, three, third water bottle for the left. Peroxide 30%. I never forget. Quick, ask me. Third one. Listen to it. Put it to your ear. You hear it? That's hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> right. Okay, guys, I feel like we need to settle on this. AITA for telling my girlfriend to quit using Lysol wipes to wipe her ass. I'm not convinced she's the asshole. She didn't hurt anybody. Oh, God. She's so aggressively she's, stupid that I think right. that it's it's pathological. Yeah, you can extrapolate <laughs> that she's an asshole. So you're saying you're going NTA yeah. and she is. To not is immediately go, if my girlfriend said, you're, you're using this on your asshole, you shouldn't be. Right away, I learned the fucking lesson. Whether this woman's defensive or stupid, uh, she's she's wrong. And she didn't bother Googling it. And uh, she's a fucking idiot. So yes, she's the asshole. I, uh, okay, so I didn't like the way he initially approached it, like Keith was saying earlier, but uh, I think it's okay to, feel, to like stumble your way into the truth if that's not always how, how, you know, like couples talk like that to each other. Unfortunately, I'm not a big fan. Just tell me what you're going to say. So once he did say it, she was very defensive, but also... I don't know that you're supposed to be pushy on what people do with their asshole, but I don't know that I want to continue dating you if you don't want to reconsider what you do with your asshole. Just re- <laughs> just consider right. that. Right. Just like, you know what? Call me an asshole at the moment because you're feeling very defensive and like, you know, worried. But then like Google it on the sly and, you yeah. know, man, like sort of an apology, something like say I'm right because I am. Also, in this, this economy, talk- we can't be wasting Lysol wipes like this. <laughs> How does this guy talk about anything? Picture him actually talking about anal. Has my penis been in your <laughs> asshole? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so I think we all agree that this is NTA and she is because she's stupid. Yes. Yeah, I'm on the – in general, I am on, this, on the side of all three uh, submissions, submitters. Wow. This is truly yep. uh, a rare moment. Mm-hmm. Um, guys, thank you so much for doing the show. Please tell our listeners where can they find you, et cetera. 
Uh, our podcast is Keith and the Girl, and it's on every podcast platform. We're under Keith and the Girl anywhere you po- you find podcasts and also on social media. KeithandtheGirl.com. Love it. It's a great pod. Check it out. There's episodes with me and Sarah and lots of awesome people. Any, anyone famous recently? You guys get some big, big people. We just recorded with Eugene Merman. Uh, so Ooh, that's, I love Eugene Merman. That's the latest one, yeah. That's awesome. Now, and, and what about your dad's saga? I know it's evolved a lot. Uh, it ended. It, you can hear mm. everything at keithandthegirl.com slash dad, D-A-D. It just ended right now with uh, me telling him to, quote, fuck off, which is beyond <laughs> something I would ever have done. Now, this this doesn't mean it's ended. This is just where we are now. This saga has been going on now for actually <laughs> one year. He's yeah. been catfishing oh his dad, pretending to be the ex-wife that the dad contacted initially. And the saga, I don't, you know, it's on, on keithandthegirl.com slash dad. It is like, you know, 20 hours worth of stuff, but it's an entire story over the course of a year with guests chiming in and new developments and uh, Keith's dad lying about certain things, Keith calling him out. Keith's dad thinks that when he starts a new email thread, all the rest of the shit that he says disappears also. So it's, it's really, <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 it's oh. never ending. Like just when you think like, okay, that's how stupid Keith's dad's going to be. And that's it. We've hit our bottom. <laughs> the next email yeah. comes in and we're like, okay, you blew us away again. Like if you wrote this and it was fiction, I'd say rewrite it because this is too much and it actually happened. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting it's a blood a transfusion on Thursday. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for being on the show. We loved having you and we will see you guys next Monday morning. How early? <laughs>